Hey everyone, in today's video, I'll show you guys how to paint this mountain landscape with reflections. I'm going to link all the materials I used in my description. If you have any questions about this painting, then as always, just comment below and I'll be more than happy to answer. Before I get into my tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about Skillshare. I'm going to explain you guys what it all is about. Skillshare is an online learning community for creators. There are more than 25,000 classes in business, graphic design, fine art, illustration, music production, and much more. I always like to explore the different watercolor classes that are there. The premium membership on Skillshare gives you unlimited access to all of these classes, so you're able to join whichever class or community that suits your goals. In the fine arts category, there are many good teachers that cover really important topics. You can find step-by-step -step watercolor tutorials, but one of the best kind of classes to look at are the ones that talk about watercolors in depth, such as the different watercolor brands that are available and how they are different from each other, how watercolors work, and other tips and theories that are very useful and important when it comes to your watercolor painting. The format of the classes is made in a way that makes it really easy to absorb the information the teacher is giving you and actually understand it. Skillshare is also super affordable. An annual subscription will cost you less than $10 a month. But if you aren't ready to pay for the membership, you can get the premium access by using the link in the description to get a free trial of two months. So if you guys are interested in exploring Skillshare out, click the link in the description and join more than 7 million creators learning with Skillshare. Once the paper is wet, I took some Maya Blue mixed with Payne's Gray and I kind of filled the sky area lightly a little bit. Then I mixed my permanent scarlet with a little bit of orange and made some little clouds on top and at the bottom right to kind of give this painting a dash of color. 